Hey, what is going on guys? Rudolanel here, come back at you with another badge tutorial. Alright, now, in the last video, what we did was we actually sort of built our own global function tool. And it was really awesome, trust me. Now, uh, this function, or this little program that we put together, uh, would allow us to create a string, and while we were creating the string, it would actually strip all of the quotation marks that we had built it with. Because normally, uh, we would, in, a, in, any, in any other programming language like Python, C++, PHP, P, Java, we would create a string with uh, these two quotation marks, and that would mean that, hey, this is a string, this is, uh, this is the text data type that we want to be working with. But in Batch, it's so weakly typed for its typesetting and that sort of thing, if you were to try and create that, uh, if you were to try and create a string with quotation marks around it, and you were to try and display it or like echo it out, it would actually display those quotation marks with you. With it, anyway. So... It was a little strange. We wanted to be able to get rid of that, and uh, especially every time we created a string, I didn't want to have to type out that same function or for loop that we had been using over and over and over again for every variable that we create. So we built our own sort of like create string function, and we set it up in our path so we can use it wherever we are, and it's really convenient and that sort of thing. But we have a little bit more uh, power with this. We can do more with it, because... There's a there's a little bit of uh, something interesting that we need to know if we're going to be continuing to work with strings. Now, uh, if we're going to work with strings to create our own functions to manipulate them, we need to know a crucial bit of information about that string. Because, let's say we don't know what the string actually contains. Normally when we as the programmer create strings, okay, we know what's in the string, but what if we're allowing the user to input some information? What if we're, what if we're getting info from the user? We don't exactly know what they will be typing in. So, we need to know how long the string is, because for us to be able to process it, we can count through the string, we can sort of get position by position with a substring that we, can, that we know about, but we need to know where to stop, so we need to know the, the length of the string, where to end. Now, Batch doesn't have its own like built-in function for this, we have to put it together and build it all by ourselves. Now, we can do this, though. It is possible, except it's really, really ugly. It's, it's kind of gross. <laughs> uh, it works with some, uh, some file handling, some temporary files that we're never going to need ever again. It works with some redirection, and it does a little bit of looping and some creepy standard notation. So I want to show you guys how we can work with this, though. But before I do, I want to show you guys how we can integrate this into our, our create script sort of thing that we've been working with. Our create string, sorry. Because... Once we create the, the string length, we always want to know what that string length is no matter what. So we're going to input it and like import and put it inside of our create string uh, script that we have so far. So we'll always know where things are whenever we create a new string. It, does that make sense? <laughs> Once we see things in action, I'm sure you'll really enjoy it and you'll know exactly what's going on. But uh, hey, let's get started anyway. I'm going to get Notepad++ ready. In fact, I think I've got it ready over on this other side here. It's just not all that visual for you. But if I were to open up what I have in my documents previously... Pardon me, guys. I'm just going to get the file for us. System32. I think I had called it create string.bat. Is that right? I'll drag this over here so you guys can see it. Hadurp. <laughs> all right. Cool. Now, I'm actually going to copy this and bring it to my normal system folder. Okay, now let's modify what we have here, because this would get the string with quotation marks, remove the quotation marks, then set the actual string variable to everything that was inside there. So we're going to jump sort of in between this, but the way we actually want to be able to get the, uh, the length of the string is by using these quotation marks that we would be we'd normally been avoiding so far, but now that we have this nice little function for us, we can have access to that, those quotation marks. So we're going to actually display that out and redirect it to a new file, and it's going to be a temporary file. Now Windows has its own temporary directory, and uh, that's always stored in your environment variable temp, T-E-E-M, T-E-M-P, sorry. That's all capital letters because it's an environment variable, and then we'll use a backslash because we're going to try to get in file inside that folder. Let's use temp file dot text. Now I'm going to copy this because we're going to be working with a little bit more. If we copy that, now let's start a for loop so we can actually loop through the things that are inside there. So I'll do for dash dash g in more percent signs, and actually I just copied this, I don't even have to type it all out again. Now we can do set-a, we'll set the, our, our one here, and the length, what I want to do is actually just append onto it the length, sort of like keywords, so we know that's what we're working with. 
and then we can just go ahead and uh, actually set this to two percent signs and uh, now this the sort of like file association that we're going to be working with it's actually a standard notation or a, a little interesting tidbit that actually gets some information about the file and what it will do is it'll get the length of the file so we use tilde and then z and uh, and then if we're going to need the variable name that we've been using up here for our loop so uh, G. So we'll need percent sign, percent sign, tilde, Z, and the G. And we were using uh, this percent sign 1, so we actually know the name of the variable here. And then we're going to subtract 5 from that, though, because we've got some bytes here that we just don't really care about. We've got a carriage return in the line feed, because we've that's automatically added whenever we redirect something to a file, and there's just three other bytes just sort of floating around. So we don't need those. Now, now that we're done getting all the information, though, we can delete the temporary file. And boom. We should be all set to go. Let's actually try this out and see what happens. If I were to run create string, and I've got it right here already, and if I were to run, like, I'll create a variable called for, and I'll have it be filled with the text lines. Now it's created that variable for me. If I echo out for, it says lines. And if I echo out for length, We've got five. So this works perfectly for us. Every time we create a new variable, it'll also have this own little uh, little adaptation of the variable that has an underscore length, and we'll always know that, okay, this is the variable that we're going to be working with. It'll get the length of it for us and uh, all that cool stuff. So we can go ahead and put this right inside of our uh, system path. So what I'll do is I'll get Window Explorer open ready for us. I'm going to move to my own uh, file here, and I think I'd called it create string. You can see I had tried a whole lot of these because I, I really wanted to make this perfect for you guys. It's pretty handy. Now if I just paste this right in, uh, I'll overwrite whatever's there, because uh, I think I did try a couple more times. And now if I change directory to my desktop, I'll bring a new command line down. See to my desktop, let's create a string. And I think I'll just fill this with a lot of text, like, this is a lot of text. How about that? So now if I echo out string, we've got this is a lot of text, and we can echo out string length. Check it out, guys. 21. Boom. It gets the length of this and everything for us. So let's see how we can actually use this in our own script. If I create a new, uh, new script here, I'll create something new, first of all. Overwrite script.bat. Perfect. We can just go ahead and do that. Add echo off. Let's build ourselves a typical script. Perfect. Now, the way we would do this is just like we did in the previous video. We would call that actual uh, that actual function here. So if we call create string. Um, var, this is some text. We should be ready to rock. Now we can echo out var, we can echo out var length. Let's go ahead and run this. This is some text, and that takes 17 characters. Let's find out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Perfect. This works flawlessly, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This should make things very easy for us later on. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.